<laughs> All right, mate. Beautiful. Glad of the footage one day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Mockers Chapel. Come to show Mark this amazing place. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> That's Mark behind me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and this place is a thousand year old. So what we're doing, we're heading towards the Black Mountains today, just for a much about, just for a drive. Uh, I thought I'd stop by here. We've been here a number of times over the years. And this place is a thousand years old. Uh, Norman, you'll see some of the Norman features now. Let's have a look. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. You can see the Norman influences quite clearly there, can you? Uh, do they lock it now? No, it's open. Yeah. <laughs> Push it on. Yeah. Oh, look at this place, Mark, yeah. man. Wow. That's all Norman, see? Yeah. Like you say, it's seen some. Uh, it's seen some things, isn't it? Some it has. Family members, Mark, I reckon. Yeah. Will be. Yeah, yeah. This is British history at its finest. <laughs> yeah. Look at them flowers. Still remembering. That's amazing, that is. Still putting flowers there. Mm. It's pretty awesome, huh? Have they? Yeah. The windows. the windows. Yeah. Yeah, look at these stained glass windows, eh? Look at the light coming through there. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it's Norman, so influenced by the French. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. After the Battle of Hastings in 1066. <laughs> Where they won the crown. It may have been earlier, I don't know, this place, but. The two ancient windows in front of you have just been conserved. They date from about 1350. So these here? Yeah. yeah. 1350. Wow. and may have been manufactured in Gloucester. The colouring in the glass is notable, as is their state of preservation after around 650 years of exposure. Colonel of the Herefordshire Militia. I mean, that's civil war, isn't it? Herefordshire Militia. militia. Yeah, <laughs> militia. I mean, we had militia here. <laughs> That organ. Amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I remember Paul and I coming here. Yeah. We came on a bike ride, I think it was. That's pretty fantastic. You can tell it's Tudor, can't you? Because of the colours and stuff. Get that. Yeah. Looks Tudor, anyway. So that's... Um, Mockers Chapel, almost a thousand years old, in the county of Herefordshire, near the border with Wales, 
We're not far from Hale Mai. That's Moccas Park over there, that's awesome. That's where all those ancient oaks are, Mark. Let's just have one last look at Moccas. We've just been talking to Scylla. Um, <coughs> uh, one of the elder, elders who's connected to the Moccas court. Uh, her family go back to the Cornwalls. <laughs> That's a long way back. Oh, yeah. We were chatting to one of the uh, descendants there. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Good timing. Look at the curvature on the end there. Hey, look at that. That's the old style church, isn't it? a very old herd. <laughs> There's Marcus Cortler. Yeah. Right there. Which is old seats man. <laughs> There's that window Mark. That's the one. 650 years that was exposed. Bang on. I remember Paul and I talking about this. Yeah. And the old entrances. Well, that was quite pleasant. Scylla, I think her name was, chatting to Scylla. Yeah. And the old descendants of Moccas. That's good that. <laughs> Hey and uh, well, via Moccas Park, which is full of ancient oaks, it's another place altogether. You can't walk around it, it's, it's uh, natural England to take care of it. It's, uh, it is an awesome place. Hey on Black Mountains then. That was good that, it was good that Mark, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, peace.
coming up to the uh, Gospel Pass and uh, this is um, this is all Y catchment this guys, so all the water coming off these tops here end up in the River Y. But this is very impressive, I think you're going to enjoy this. I know Mark is. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're coming up to the Hay Bluff, and right in front of us is Tumpa, otherwise known as Lord Hereford's Knob. And the whole western escarpment of the Black Mountains, which is really beautiful, very impressive. And this lamb is eating a squirrel. <laughs> As you do. I mean... <laughs> I think it's just been run over. Yeah, it's probably that Land Rover. Have you ever seen a herbivore <laughs> try and eat a squirrel? No, I haven't. That's a new one for me. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this view. Watch out for this view, Mark, as you come over the top. Opens out, it does. Yeah, this is where um, the American Wealth in London was filmed as well. You know where they were dropped off? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah right up here. Here we are. Hey, That's the bluff. Look at that, man. That's the hay bluff. That's Tump Tumpa in front. Here's the Western Escarpment. There we go. Another after view. Park up here, Mark, and just pull up and have a well, yeah. Well, further on down, yeah. yeah. Okay. Central Brecon Beacons over there, look. Penny Fan, look. Yeah. It's a shame, mate. Where you want to stop? Uh, just keep going up, up top there. Yeah. I never tire of that view. I just never tire of it. Hey Bluff. Used to be loads of hang gliders coming off there on a yeah. day like this. Not so many nowadays. All paragliders now. Right, like there's the Arlet. Stop it. Yeah. What a view!
of U.S. coming up. Hey, hey. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's nice, mate. Should we park up, Mark? Yeah, yeah. Nice spot. Yeah, Chapel. It's a tiny little place, look. Yeah. Truly a mountain chapel. see the real mountain rural uh, parish so yeah. that my peace give to you yeah man that's what we want it's peace We had a chat to her. 
lovely lady in here when we came here. We did. It's a tiny little chapel, isn't it? It's tiny. That is what you call a mountain congregation. And that mouse is still there. Got a photograph of that back of there. Oh, right, yeah. Paul took a photograph of it. Right here. Those curtains. <laughs> yeah, beautiful little place. We got some bells. Yeah. Capo Yi Fin in the Black Mountains. A little chapel here. Which I visited before with Paul. 2014 on the Hondi hike, if you check out the link. And I'm here with Mark now today. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going through the Vale of Uis, which is uh, one of the most beautiful drives in southern Britain, I would say. No, nah, it's an absolutely beautiful drive. We were chatting to a lady here last time I came. <coughs> she was on a healing retreat. Lots of healing retreats in this valley. <laughs> Not surprising. Not surprising, no. 1783. Yeah, look. 1783, these pews. Seventeen eighty three. Wow, that's old. <laughs> yeah. All right, see you shortly. Oh, I see. You could get parishioners up here as well. Yeah, up on the, uh, up on the balcony. Ah. And the sermon held from there. Yeah, wild ponies up there. Yeah? Yeah. Coed y Kerig. Hmm? Coed y Kerig National Nature Reserve. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
back in the day, right, when um, there were no roads, you know, five, six, seven, seven hundred years ago, yeah, and you had to cross this country, you'd have come across some <laughs> some uh, challenges, wouldn't you? Oh, wow. Tops. Wow, check out these trees, man. <laughs> Which way? Deeper in. National Nature Reserve, uh, not far from the Sugarloaf actually, the Sugarloaf is that way, so we're at the base of the Sugarloaf really, um, Blanc Gaveni as well, the Vale of Uis back that way, so basically the Black Mountains, but yeah this is a, a bog, uh, a nice bog. Amazing gnarly trees. Yeah, so this valley's been carved out by glaciers 10,000 years ago. Um, obviously all the water runs off the tops into the bottom of the valley, hence we got this marsh. Uh, it's an amazing place around here. Patricio, the uh, chapel is not far away, which is a thousand years old. Uh, Moccas was old, 950 years. So we've seen some old chapels. All faiths are none, mind. <laughs> not affiliated to any one of them. <laughs> All right, catch you up at uh, Praticio. Praticio. <clears throat> I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I think you'll love the place. All right, peace. It's a very sacred spring, as you can see. Lots of people come here. And uh, offer their thoughts. And here we are. The sacred well oh, at yeah. Praticio. People put in offerings. I'll put an offering in for Paul later and for other spirits, for people that need strength.
Something about water. Yeah. Yeah. Every time it gets. Yeah, sacred well at Praticio, which is in the Black Mountains. And the chapel, Praticio Chapel, is up here and it's almost a thousand years old. So we're going to have a look at that shortly. It's got a beautiful alfresco uh, inside as well. So we've done a bit of a tour today. We've done Mocus Chapel, Capel Ye Finn, and uh, Praticio now. covering both ends really of the Black Mountains although Moccas was in Herefordshire. You can see that it's a special place to people and it was a special place to Paul as well. Paul loved it here. Yeah, there is and there's a gargoyle there as well kind of thing. We brought Erica here as well. So we're back at Patricio Erica give you a shout out <laughs> and give everyone else a shout out at, um, uh, on YouTube as well Trevor, Carl um, Badger Botherer Wandering Wolf 2 haven't heard from you for a while Malcolm Walls while camping. Wall, how you doing? Rebecca Olson. Hi, Rebecca. So, Steve. Good to see you, so, Steve. Eddie. Hope you got the tent. <laughs> There's so many people. Um, Oh, so many friends. Drassar, Angela, over there in Germany. Hi, Angela. Yvonne, over there in the States. Julie Little, Julie, good on you. Love your videos, love your camping, and I love your smile. Um, there's Jules, Steinway Goat. So many other people, all fantastic people. I'm here at a very special place uh, near my home in Herefordshire. We're actually in the Brecon Beacons, just. <laughs> we got some cyclists as well. So I'm going to have a look at that chapel, Mark. Yeah. You can. You can relax or, oh, yeah, let's have a look. Nature calls, Bruce. All right, Bruce. So many people, good folk out there. Yeah, here we are. Church of Saint Issui, Praticio, Patricio, and you, Tim, at Save Purple Cat. I think you'd like this, mate, because of your faith and the ancient sites that you love. Now, this is one of them. Look at this place. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Look at that for a door. <laughs> Love it. Let's go in. Yeah. Look at that alfresco there. Now. Wow. These are the old alfrescos they discovered. I'm wondering if that was painted during the plague. <laughs> Maybe. Very different from uh, Capel Ye Finn and um, Mocus. some years ago now. Old panels, huh? Mm. That's been touched, run smooth over centuries. Long time. There's got to be some information on this place somewhere. I'm going to try and find it. It's pretty cool. go into the light and read this for a bit. Um, this remote and beautiful little church shows how greatly the ways in which its people worship God changed after the Protestant Reformation of the mid 16th century. It goes on See how old it is. Let's have a look. You have entered the church through a boarded and ribbed door uh, with iron strap hinges and studs. Probably first built in the 15th century. Oh, here we are. A church dedicated to Isui uh, and containing his grave or shrine was built on the hillside overlooking his well. I presume that was the well back there. In about 1060, shortly before the Normans began their conquest of South Wales. So yeah, this site is going back to 1060, so that's almost a thousand years. The doom figure on the west wall, it says. A skeleton bearing an hourglass. 
Seeth and spade, reminding us that in time all must be cut down and die. <laughs> I've known that one recently. The faded and reworked royal arms of Charles II on the north wall, this wall here, were placed here soon after the restoration of the monarchy in 1660. So this has been here since 1660. That's blimey, 350, 360 years old. Yeah, it's about the 1400s. That's about the 1400s, I think. So the whole site has been here since 1060, so And when you think, that's six years before the Battle of Hastings, 1066. As they say, before the Normans conquered uh, Great Britain. Oh, a very long time ago. So, Praticio, very special place. This is our last call today. Unless, of course, we end up somewhere else. <laughs> might, might do, I don't know, Mark. Everything's possible. So, yeah, brilliant. Uh, we've got a great drive back. Um, on the way out, I'll um, film the Sugarloaf just a bit. It's a fantastic view of the Sugarloaf on the way out, just to indicate where this place is. It's in a fantastic place, you know, Black Mountains, absolutely brilliant. Uh, so, if you've enjoyed the video, give us a like, guys. Uh, if you want to comment, please do. And uh, if you want to subscribe, I look forward to your company. All right. From me and Mark. Peace out. Peace out. We'll catch you up, all right? Peace. Excellent. 15th century, that door, Mark. Yeah, I was just Yeah. Wow, man. Look at that. Oh, you can see it's age all right, can't you? Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, man. If we can stop when it comes into view. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the money maker. Yeah. There she is. The sugar loaf.